Hi guys, Freddy here. Welcome back to the real desktop again this week for another retro RPG. And this week the camera's down a bit lower so my hands are going to appear massive. As this is a much smaller book, this week I would like to present this. The second edition BSM, Big Eyes Small Mouth. A manga anime type role playing game. Now, I did plan to do this a few weeks ago, but I kind of skipped over it because I thought it'd be a very short video. But, very fortunately, this past week, I was lucky enough to be given a range of source books for it. So we'll be covering those too. Many thanks to Richard who handed those over, who I believe now follows the channel. But let's get on with the back cover. So, Big Eyes, Small Mouth. In the myriad realms of imagination, there are an infinite number of worlds waiting to be discovered. BSM 2nd Edition helps you explore them all. Big Eyes, Small Mouth, the multi-genre anime and manga role-playing game. And that's all it says on the back, apart from, obviously, the credits. What it is, is a role-playing game which covers anime, but it covers the whole range of anime. So, there is no actual background, really, in here. What the game is, if we go to the table of contents, we can see what is anime, what's a role-playing game, playing it, second edition, GM discussion, character outline, assigned stats. So we've got character creation going on here. Special attributes and defects goes from page 77 to page 193. Most of the book is just special abilities and superpowers and all that kind of thing. We've got the game mechanics further on, passage of time, dice rolls, combat, recovery, weapon and equipment, um, expanded game mechanics, role-playing in an anime world, a nice guide which goes on for about 30 pages, and then the reference section at the back. But if we go through, there's some nice artwork in here, very nice anime. I've always been a big fan of anime since I was very young, um, when Akira came out. And that kind of thing. Um, what did I love? Dominion Tank Police I always thought was absolutely hilarious. Project Echo we've covered before. But this is a more generic. It covers absolutely everything. So we've got character creation. With animal friendship abilities. And aura of command. And appearance. And art of distraction. If we keep going. You can buy flunkies. You can customise your character in a huge variety of different ways. Organisational ties, so your person can be in charge of a corporation or have a secret agency behind them or whatever. Unique character attributes. Special attributes. And we get into um, the rest of character creation, owned by Megacorp. So these are their advantages and disadvantages, basically. Phobia. Physically unappealing, recurring nightmares, red tape, sensory impairment, wanted, skeleton in the closet, significant other. Why is the significant other always a disadvantage in a role-playing game? Having somebody who loves you and cares for you is a bad thing. <sighs> Interesting. A view into the life of gamers. We've got the skills here, so gaming, forgery, intimidation, the usual sort of range. Piloting, urban tracking, swimming. Seduction. Some example characters there. And then we're on to the special attributes and defects. So astral projection. Dimensional portal. Sensor jamming. Elasticity. Extra arms. I'm going to skip through them in big chunks here. Flight. Insubstantial. Jumping. Invisibility. Magic. Metamorphosis, mind control, own a big mecha, so you two can own a giant armoured suit, or a weird armoured suit according to that illustration, precognition, place of power, regeneration, just loads and loads of abilities, everything you can customise your character with, so you can come up with any kind of anime hero, super powered, fantasy, whatever, stealth, starflight, Swarm, Super Strength, Telepathy, Weapon Attack or Special Attack. And all of these suggest ways. So the Special Attack won't just be you own a big sword. It can be that your chest sprouts tentacles and you attack doing that. It's up to you to create the description of how these powers work. 
Attack disabilities, extra capacity. These are the mecha ones. Cursed, diminutive, restricted daring movement, volatile, vulnerability. And then we go on to the game mechanic sections. But most of it's just special powers. Um, let's put it over here. But we get these extra source books. So, space fantasy here. Space fantasy looks at the science fiction genre known as space fantasy or space opera by describing its most important elements and how they are used. More than that, it supplies guidelines for GMs who wish to design campaigns or adventures that use space opera characters or situations. This book provides new rules for character creation, technology and combat, including space battles, to help GMs create memorable tales of intergalactic heroism and villainy. Whether they take place a long time ago or in the far future, chock full of excellent genre analysis and gorgeous anime art. BSM Space Fantasy is the essential anime role-playing tool for your galactic campaigns. And we know what they're talking about there a long time ago, and she's obviously carrying a lightsaber. So we're talking about making Star Wars here. Um, what have we got? So we've got concepts, space opera conventions to the stars on Her Majesty's Secret Service, the Shadow Rebellion, Star Precinct, the stats... Various templates, so you can be a swashbuckler or a space trucker or a cyborg. Go through the technology. There should be some starships here. Yep. Starships and space battles. Exotic worlds. Exotic life forms. So it's Star Wars. And then we've got Fantasy Bestiary. BSM Fantasy Bestiary provides players and GMs with a perfect toolkit for a big eye, small mouth fantasy campaign. If you wanted to play a high elf dwarf, or even titan orc, or vampire minotaur, then this is the book for you. The BSM Fantasy Bestiary is not your traditional manual of monsters. You'll find a plethora of D6 tri-stat templates for traditional fantasy races you can use. Combine multiple templates, Ogre Medusa Skeleton, or use them on their own. From Angel to Zombie and everything in between, BSM Fantasy Best Street is a game ideal reference book for both game masters and players. So, it's a mixed up wild anime fantasy version of Big Eye Small Mouth. So you've got kobolds, lizard folk, merfolk, minotaurs, titans, a dwarf titan, hmm. dragon, golems, griffins. Big list of species, and you can mash them all together to come up with different types. And it's character creation. It's basically a species book. We have what else here? BESM Dungeon. It's now 60 years after the curse of Lysandra fell upon the Holy Lighthouse and the Labyrinth Beneath. When the ghost tower materialises every month, adventurers enter to seek the treasures that are rumoured to lie within. Yet the tower is not so quiet as it once was. So this appears to be a setting. Uh, the silvery moon is full. Terrible yowls rise from the depths of the lighthouse dungeon. Monsters inside have been breeding. BSM Dungeon puts an anime spin on traditional dungeon adventure. It offers multiple levels of mayhem packed with plethora of bizarre NPCs and hideous monsters. A homage to anime style video games and classic dungeon hack role playing BSM Dungeon is a light hearted level up campaign for brave knights, cat girl thieves, and the elven mages. So, what we got in here? So, we've got some classes dark elf, dwarves, of the species actually. Nerigid cat people, pixie, half cat, shape changers, good priest or priestess, then we're on to geography around it, the labyrinths of Lysandra with some maps, red caps, dungeons, so it's basically a dungeon and some races for just drop-in fantasy gaming. What else have we got? We've got Hot Rods and Gun Bunnies. A slick and sexy action adventure source book for Big Eyes Small Mouth. This is the ideal supplement for running Big Eyes Small Mouth campaign adventures with a guys with cars and girls with guns genre. 
This popular anime genre features character types such as police officers, armored personnel, bounty hunters, drivers, pilots, government agents, hackers, private detectives, thieves, hitmen, and many others. Hot Rods and Gun Monies provides new and innovative skill system for the Tristat system and helps players design distinctive low to mid powered enemy characters. HRGB also includes flexible vehicle and weapon templates, which makes it easy for GMs and players alike to equip their characters with the tools of their trade. So, skipping through, I expect there to be lots of stuff about creating gun bunny characters. So, two hand, weapon encyclopedia, modified attributes such as cybernetic body. I expect there to be lots of vehicle stuff in here. We've got uh, skills which are useful for that timeline or setting. Boom and vroom. Oh, I like the Apache type helicopter in the background there. Guns, how they work, different types of guns, gun templates, shotgun slugs, blanks, hollow points, rubber bullets, then vehicle templates, light helicopter, utility helicopter, bus, big rig. And you can mash these up with different customizations, so airfoils, armor, big engine, hidden cargo space. Make your custom car or spider tank or whatever. Body armor, goggles and ear protectors, sexual charges. So this is all sort of equipment to customize the setting. Good guys or bad guys, ideas about the campaign, dangerous toys, which is an adventure. Appendix 2, laws and regulations. So whether they're allowed to carry around their guns, whether they get Miranda warning. And that's another setting. And we still have yet more. We have Grave of Heaven Eurasia. In an age before history, mortals roamed the land. The gods, vain and numerous, ruled the heavens. They also battled fiercely with each other. In the end, the gods destroyed themselves and nearly the world. A few living things survived on the remnants of the shattered land, a broken ring of islands, scorched by lava and washed but clean by storms. It was long ago. Eurasia Gate of Grave of Heaven is a high fantasy setting from the creative mind of S. John Ross. Explore a world in which the lecherous teenager can become ruler, dwarven charcoal kings bravely protect their lands, and entire cities of gods lie in ruin. Eurasia is the kind of endless adventure driven by the ambitions of both men and monsters. So, another fantasy setting. We've got the islands. And the setting. The Volan Wood. Character outlines. Some monsters, some mushroom trolls, slimes. Sample characters of Eurasia, magic items, beasts and monsters. Rogan's Health is a small town, so a setting within this world to give you an idea of what it's like. Um, anything else interesting in there? Nope. And lastly, the rather wonderfully named Cute and Fuzzy Cockfighting Caesar Monsters. Many words describe them. Agile, hostile, brave, dangerous. But most of all, they're small and cute and fuzzy and extraordinary cute. Naturally, they want to fry, bash, and squish each other into oblivion. Welcome to the world of cute and fuzzy cockfighting seizure monsters, the big eyes small mouth supplement that shows you how to play a pit monster trainer or even the pit monster, just like on TV. Inside, you'll find an engaging satire of the monster fighting genre. You can use this book to play effective on genre characters as well. Discover what it means to be a kid growing up in a world where every boy and girl has their own personal monster gladiator. So this is basically Pokemon, Bakugan, uh, I believe one of my sons plays something called Vanguard. The collectible card games which get made into cartoon series where the kids carry monsters around in their pocket and bring them out to battle. We can see that's obviously along the lines of, um, oh, what's his name? Pikachu. And this is tongue in cheek. So survival of the fittest, branding to advertise your monster. Um, okay. Disciplining monsters. 
monster injuries, the team, tournament structure, protestations, and other hobbies. Not a lot of artwork in this one, lots of text, trainer cute monster, and the abilities of the monsters themselves, whether it's celestial or it's darkness or it's a death monster, monster skills, monster breeding, samples, trainers, and monsters, and then the combat. So it covers all of that. And this is just a very small variety of the books which came out. Big Eye Small Mouth did tend to cover a lot of the anime movies of the time. I seem to remember there was a Dark City one, or Wicked City. Um, I actually haven't mentioned when it came out. So the original version came out in 1998. This one was released in 2000, the second edition. It's a lovely game with a lot of ideas in there. The main rulebook, I know me and one of the other Games Masters in my group have looked at it several times and wanted to run it because you can just let your players off. It's not a matter of, oh, I picked to play an Elf Ranger, a Dwarf Barbarian. You are picking out a wide variety of special abilities and skills and creating something totally off the wall. You're creating a guy with a tentacle arm or a hidden demon which comes out of his back or whatever. Just so many options you can create, whether you're playing some weird little schoolgirl with a corporation at her beck and call, or an ancient demon from the depths of hell who just happens to hang around with this schoolgirl. I don't know even... I don't even know where I'm going with that one. But whichever... whatever you wanted to create, the rules are in there. The problem is there's not really a setting... And that's a lot of work for a GM, which is why it's never come about for us. Lots of copies of this game were bought within our group, but nobody ever ran it or played it. And that's Big Eye Small Mouth. It's a very interesting, fun thing. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Please like and subscribe the video if you like hearing me ramble on about weird, culty games. But most of all, you look after yourselves, and I'll catch you later. Bye.